Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy. This is episode 27. Sorry for the late start, um, but we're a little behind today. Um, also, I'll be eating my yogurt on the stream because don't have time to wait. Uh, but hopefully you guys are having a good one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Today's case is going to be interesting as we have a... Uh, no longer the whale as the main suspect. The trainer is now the suspect. Wow. I saw that coming. And he says, Sasha didn't hurt anyone. I guess we'll find out. Alright, uh, let's... Hey guys and gals, 100 likes is your first goal. And uh, I'm having issues with my throat today. So. It's very warm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I started my Disney Dream Late Valley stream late, so sorry about that, everyone. You have little pearl on there, kawaii. Hmm. I don't have a cooler name than Investigation Day 2. Yeah, we actually ended up bringing um, Vanellope to Disney Dreamlight Valley today, so now we're all ready for the characters that are going to come on Wednesday for Disney Dreamlight Valley, which I'm super excited about. Yeah. So it's, mm. is it this one? I believe this is right. Yep. July 21st, 1.13 p.m. Write anything agency. A big sigh, Athena. Did you lose the case? No, we won. The defendant was found not guilty. Huh. Then why are you so dejected? Daddy! Were you being mean to her? What? Picking on the new kid? Not cool, Mr. Wright. Not cool at all. Oops. Wait a minute. Talk about false accusations. We were able to prove the defendant's innocence. But then Sasha got arrested instead! So that's what happened! That's too bad! So what are you two gonna do now? We're gonna have to get to the bottom of this mystery. I don't believe for a second that Sasha did what they're accusing her of. I don't believe it either, and I won't give up! Boss, let's go see Sasha and tell her we want to represent her! Right now, I imagine she's still being questioned by the police. Let's get started on the investigation first and look for proof of her innocence. Sounds like a plan. Just leave the office to me and Polly, Daddy. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. Thanks. If you could organize the evidence and clean the office, that'd be great. Wow. I meant anything I could do as a lawyer. Wow. Unnecessary evidence given to Apollo. <laughs> you have to file all the paperwork. Well, that takes care of that. Time to head to the scene of the crime, I guess. <clears throat> Here we go, says Peter. July 21st, Ship Shape Aquarium, Orca Pool. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Gio. Hi, Sammy Bear King. Hello, uh, Peter Tilton. Great to see you, AIWF. Did you guys see Arkham Knight got an update? I did not see that, AIWF. Princess. Switch? I don't know. 
Princess Emmy says, I am tired. Sorry, you're tired. Thank you for the super chat. Just Okonomi. One case leads right into the next. It's like two cases in 1.2 halves of a whole. That's right, Just Okonomi. Thank you for the super chat. God bless you, uh, Just Okonomi. Thank you so much for helping keep this uh, series on the air. I really appreciate the super chats, Justo. It helps out tremendously. Hi, um, Everly. Hi, Two-Face. Hello, Jacob O'Ryan. Hi, William. Hi, Billy. Hello, OHX90. Hi, Majo. Hello, JCat275. Great to see you, Tom, Kieran. And Tom actually hung out with me this morning in Palia. Mm. My life in Palia. Hi, JS. Hi, Geo the Hero, William. And, um, Spyro Link Fan, 1991. Hello, Jade Rose. Great to see you. Nick's Galaxy says, hi, pi, 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 pi. Everly says, let's roll. Hi, Bowman. How's it going? Great to see you. Hi, Mage Wolf. Hello, Juan da Ortega. Great to see you. Hi, Captain Zach. And, uh, oh, no worries. I understand, um, what some of you guys are in school or work and stuff like that. Hi, Don Haka. Hello, Emmy and um, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Why did Sasha get arrested? It's a Spiral Link fan. Because the person fell in the basement. Uh, they, <laughs> they fell into the, the pool. Because she got arrested because she was the only one with a key card. We proved that the orca did not do it, the whale. And there was only one person besides the whale who could have really done it, and that would have been Sasha. Mm -hmm. So now, because we proved the whale's innocence... Now we have to prove the trainer's innocence, and her trainer was Sasha. She was the only one with a key card that could have been in here to kill the victim. So we have to see if, you know, hopefully she didn't do it. We have to see if there's someone else who might have done it. I mean, I don't really know Sasha personally. She could have done it, but, I mean, I hope not. It seems like she's a main character, so I feel like she didn't do it. She has that main character plot armor. I don't think Zelda's going to jump up here. She's not like Link with that. So that is why. Huh? There's no water in the pool. Orla, where are you? Boy, boy. I, can... I can hear her at the bottom of the pool, but maybe there's some water down there. Orla sounds so sad. Maybe she misses Sasha. Careful there, you shouldn't get right up to the edge like that. You don't want to end up like the victim! Ha ha ha. Besides, we are still... Uh... Besides, the police are still conducting their investigation here. Don't go poking around. <sighs> Detective Fulbright! Ah! Smells nice. Okay. Sorry about that. It's okay. Detective Fulbright! Ah! Oh, is something wrong, Miss Lawyer? You look angry. I object to you arresting Miss Buckler! Detective, I'd like to ask some questions about the case, if you don't mind. Go right ahead. Alright, talking to Detective Fulbright. Why arrest Buckler? <clears throat> Miss Buckler is 100% innocent, so why did you arrest her? I understand your desire to believe in her, but the fact remains that she's suspicious. Right now, there are investigations on the scene, so you can come in as you please. But ordinarily, a security card is required to enter this orca pool. The victim and Sasha Buckler were the only ones who possessed this key card. And yesterday, the day of the incident, there's proof the suspect's card was used! Oh, okay, so security card thing added to the court. OBJECTION! Somebody else could have used Miss Buckler's card! 
That's true. I was thinking about that. Yeah. Hey guys and gals, we only got about 40 people watching, so you gotta like and share the video if you haven't already. Uh, it's been about 10 minutes with us like around 60 or 70 likes, so we need to see like uh, the likes go up to bring people in. Uh, otherwise, we won't be able to continue this franchise because, uh, you know, the less people we have watching it, the more impossible it is to get more episodes. So, try to do your part with that, okay? Oh my! I guess that would be one possible explanation. Haha! <laughs> Didn't I sound just like a lawyer right there? Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, we'd be kind of in trouble if you didn't. Yeah, aren't you supposed to be a lawyer, Athena? Except the suspect confirms she didn't enter the room at the time, the record states. She said there was a 3 to 6 a.m. on July 20th. Apparently, she was giving the orca pool room a good cleaning. Cleaning? In the middle of the night? Yes, she said that a lot of heavy-duty cleaning is done at night. The suspect also admits that she was fighting with the owner before his murder. And what's more is nobody saw the victim again after he met with the suspect. Hmm. Objection! There must be something I can object to in there somewhere. Save your objections for tomorrow's trial. By the way, detective, do you think Miss Buckler's questioning is over? No, not yet. But I told the guy in charge to take it easy on her. Why? Is something wrong? Whoops! Forget I said anything. It doesn't concern you two anyway. But it does concern us. We intend to represent Miss Buckler. What? You do? In that case, I have a favor to ask. Could you get this medicine to her? Medicine? Looks like a prescription from uh, Hickfield Clinic. I've spent some time at that hospital myself. We confiscated it from her home when we were doing a search. I can't get away here, so if you could make sure she gets it, that would be great! Medicine, huh? Does Miss Buckler have some illness? Hmm, I think that's kind of a question you'd better ask her. Injustice we trust! Now I need to get back to the investigation! Prescription bag was added. Seized from Sasha's residence, apparently had it filled, so it won't even tell us what the prescription is. Uh, we can give it to her as soon as they let us uh, talk to her. And we have to return her calendar to her as well. Uh, if we can't see Sasha or investigate, we should question people at the aquarium. Okay, so why the arrest? Present. Uh, I don't think there's anything to present. Move. Let's go over to the... The orca pool is now drained. Try the aquarium tunnel. Did not work. Uh, what to do? I can't believe it. Just when we prove Orla innocent, Sasha gets arrested. I'll never forgive that prosecutor Blackwell and Detective Fulbright. The stress on my heart is just too much. Poor Athena. She's really upset. We better do some investigating if we want to save Sasha. Let's check the orca pool room again and question everybody involved. Gee, Mr. Wright, you sure know how to stay calm in a crisis. I can top that! Look how calm I can be! Yeah, the very definition of calm, I'd say. Good for you. Now, let's get back to the investigation. I don't think Athena is very calm. No. I had a thought. How about if I try getting on Taka's good side? Then maybe he won't attack when that awful prosecutor Blackwell told him to do! Not sure if that's simple, but anyway, how are you gonna get on his good side? Well, if I made myself smell like meat, he'd start to like me! The way to a bird's heart is through his nose, right? I'd rather you didn't smell like meat while we're uh, standing next to me at the bench. <laughs> okay, so that didn't work. Alright, let's go to the pub -o danger Good. Athena's like a small hulk. Definitely, uh, um, Captain Zack. She's pretty angry right now. July 21st, Ship Shape Aquarium, pub o danger Danger, Will Robinson. Mm-hmm. Huh? That door is open! It was closed yesterday! Well, you know what they have to do, right? Of course, boss! 
We sneak in and check it out. Hey, you two. No, there we go. Who barges into a person's lab without permission? Ah, we're sorry. My apologies, sir. She insisted. Don't throw me under the bus, Mr. Wright. Hmm. The polite thing to do is knock and ask if you can come in. Now, start over. Y yes sir Come in. Thank you. Sorry to bother you. Now, what can I do for you? Medical problems? Um, well, yes. I I'm not feeling super good at the moment. We're not making any progress on this murder investigation and... Hey, miss, where is the patient? Don't you have a pet with you? Oh, wait a minute. So that was my last job. This is an aquarium. I was exhausted from all the questioning. I must have fallen asleep. What's with this guy? My apologies. I just woke up and I was a little groggy. I am Dr. Herman Crab. I am Shipshape Aquarium's resident veterinarian. Herman Crab? Mm. Oh, you're the Dr. Crab Mr. Rhymes mentioned yesterday. And Rhymes also mentioned that he hadn't seen Dr. Crab around. I wonder where he was. Son of a gun. This little thing doesn't let me get any sleep. Peep, 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 peep. It's a bird. Peep, 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 peep. Oh, what a cute little thing. Who is it? A penguin chick. A member of the little penguin species. She lives in my hair. Oh, you're so lucky. I wish I had a pet to live in my hair. Athena, no pets are allowed in my office. Oh, you're no fun, Mr. Wright. If you two didn't have any particular business with me, please leave. I have to get ready to make my rounds. Back in you go, little one. Wait, I'd like to ask you a few questions to save Miss Buckler. Hold on, don't let tell me your curious pair who are defended the whale. Yeah, that's right. Please let us ask you a little about the case. Alright, so we're gonna talk to him. I'm just gonna let... He's gonna break my door. He looks like Rick from Rick and Morty. A little bit. His hair looks like that. I'm enjoying playing this game on Switch following your playthrough, Luke and Ammer. Thank you, Jason Jackson. Appreciate that so much. Yeah, that's right. This is available on Switch. I forgot about that. There's no way Athena can tame Black Bull's bird, says OH. You never know. And um, Geo and Brandon say it looks like Rick from Rick and Morty. <laughs> Herman Crab. Uh, Dr. Crab, uh, where are you gone... Uh, Dr. Crab, were you gone from the aquarium yesterday? That's right. I had some minor business at the sup uh, Super Marine Aquarium. Super Marine? That's a funny name for an aquarium. The Super Marine Aquarium is the nation's biggest dolphin therapy treatment center. I go there myself. I'm friends with their dolphins. You and Apollo were talking about animal-assisted therapy yesterday, weren't you? I got to the Supermarine once a month, but I live here, of course. You live here at the aquarium? That's right. I have a sleeping bag here, and sometimes I use the nap room. I'm responsible for the health and well-being of all the marine creatures here. If any of them have sudden medical emergencies, I'll be here to help them. Wow! You're kind of rough around the edges, Dr. Crab, but you care about your work! Hmm... Hey, buddy. Is this young lady trying to pick a fight with me? I apologize for her, sir. She tends to be a bit too honest. Well, they're no paragon of politeness either, apparently. Okay, Herman Crab. Mm. Man's a little crabby. Okay. Hi, kitties. Kitties are up here now. Yep. And you guys, they did great. You guys did great with the likes, getting 56 likes before the stream started. Fantastic job, guys and gals. You guys are amazing. You guys are the best. The best viewers in the whole internet. Thank you guys so much. 
Hi, Crossfighter. Says, hi, Luke and Amber. How are you guys? Pretty good, Crossfighter. Hope you're having a great day, too. Thank you. Hi, Misty Dolphin. Hi, William. Um, great to see everyone. Hi, uh, Crossfighter, Little Mr. Diverge, Ants, Master Gundam, Everly, Spyro, and Majo, and everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, so, part of the reasons why we have so little people here, too, is the newsletter was late today, too. Um, so, yeah. Um, good job on 100 likes, guys. Let's try to get to 120 in the next, like, uh, 20 minutes to try to pick the views up on the channel. We're about 20 minutes in, and we're only at 100 views, so this is... The likelihood of this series continuing is not likely. Oh, can we see the penguin chick again? Come on! Stop! Don't come any closer. Oops. Beep, beep, beep. Ow! I'm sorry, she attacked you. She doesn't like anyone but me, I'm afraid. I was the first one who saw her when she hatched, so I think sh she thinks I'm her parent. She targets people from my hair, so please be careful. She's just a small little sniper, isn't she? Exactly. That's why I named her Sniper. Her mother's name is Rifle. Sniper and Rifle, huh? What a dangerous sounding mother and daughter. Oh, Rifle. Oh my gosh. So this is Rifle's daughter, which means both mother and daughter now hate me. Little penguins are generally belligerent little creatures. It's hard to get them to warm up. But they are nocturnal, so you might be able to touch them during the day. So, you and Sniper get along well, don't you? Just like Sasha and Orla? But unlike Sniper and me, the two of them seem to truly understand one another. This one keeps me awake every night. Looks like I won't sleep until she leaves the nest. It must be rough for him, but uh, it's pretty cute to watch for us. Okay, about the murder. Can you tell me anything about Jack Shipley's murder? Eh. I still can't believe Jack is gone. He's the one who brought me on board. How could he end up and die on me? Did you and Mr. Shipley get along? Mm, he loved all the animals and fish, but I'm not like that. But I still took pride in my work as a vet, nonetheless. We got along well enough as business associates, but it's thanks to him my laboratory is what it is today. It is a pretty amazing laboratory. Yep. Ah, you could have a discerning taste, I see. I could tell you more about my lab if you would like. I want to know more about it. This place is filled with electronics! What are those monitors for? Okay, so Athena said something filled with electronics, da da da. Essentially, they are digital medical records for all the creatures here. I can also view the feed from visit visitors' cord to our security room. That way, I can see that silly mother penguin when she tries to escape. So you're the one who gave the security footage to the police. No, I wasn't here yesterday, but I did give my permission for them to take it. And I gave them a statement about Jack and Sasha arguing. Hmm. Oh, so you were the one who witnessed it. Oh my gosh. That's right. It was late in the evening of the 19th, maybe about midnight. I saw them fighting near the aqua tunnel. I don't know why their argument was about. Are you sure you should be talking to us about this? I'm not talking, taking sides. I give information to anyone who wants it. What you'll do with that information at Sasha's trial is up to you. Wow! You're kind of rough around the edges, Dr. Crab, but you're a pretty nice guy. Again. <laughs> you're trying to pick a fight, aren't you, young lady? Aww, isn't that cute? He's easily embarrassed. Yeah, son of a gun, are you trying? You hungry again already? And that silly mother penguin's nowhere to be found again. Peep, 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 
Hey. Yes, would you quit peeping in my ear? <laughs> According to her walkie-talkie, Rifle is somewhere around the aqua tunnel. If you see her, could you bring her to me, please? I have to go examine some of the other creatures. No sweat, and this time I'll get her to like me too. Rifle has escaped again? What is she, like the Houdini of the penguin world? There's no guarantee we'll find her right away, but let's head to the aqua tunnel. Alright, mm. July 21st, Ship Shape Aquarium, Aqua Tunnel. And this is kind of where we went through a tunnel like this in an aquarium, Luke. Mm -hmm. Aqua Tunnel. Mm. Okay. Um, yep, and guys and girls, we're 10 away from 120. Great job, everyone. Okay, 9 away. Okay, guys, 111 likes, just 9 away from 120. Let's keep it up. Thanks, guys and girls. And we need more than usual because we started late, so um, um, the likes are really helping. Thank you guys for helping bring people in. Thanks, guys and gals. YouTube just isn't notifying as many people today because I didn't get the newsletter out. Sorry about that. This is why it's important for us to get the newsletter out. Oh, it's you two, the blue and yellow duo. Hmm. I'm very angry about what you did this morning. Uh oh, we ran into the sea line before our penguin. I write the truth, and I will find the truth with my own eyes. I won't be bested by the likes of the blue and yellow duo. When did she become. Wait, when did we become the blue and yellow duo? <laughs> Athena will never give up, you sea lion. In that case, I'll leave the questioning to you, Athena. Thanks a lot, Widget. Ha, ha, ha. Well, at least she's worth a worthy adversary. Okay, let's do this, Mr. Wright. <laughs> You'll do great. You know, being the boss isn't half bad sometimes. Last year's scoop. Have you been gathering material about last year's incident ever since then? That is correct. An acquaintance of the victim asked me to look into it, you see. An acquaintance of the victim? I refuse to divulge any information about my clients. Hm. The aquarium is saying it was an accident, but I don't believe that's the truth. It seems to me they're all hiding something. Every last one of them. The only thing I can think is that the killer whale murdered that poor girl. But you don't even know if that's true or not. That's enough out of you, yellow girl. As I said, I'm still investigating the matter, of course. Once I learn the truth, I plan to write a sequel to this book. <laughs> okay. She's uh, completely taken with her investigation. I came to ma make a report on the anniversary of the previous trainer's death. Only to find the aquarium owner murdered! I was deeply shocked! Okay. Yeah, so we got that there. I really wish there was a way to have like both of these like so accessible and easy to see like with the microphone thing instead of having to scroll all the way down to where the other one is. Yeah, but maybe I'm... there's a one way to reorder the how we can see it. No, we need new streaming equipment if that was the case. So, uh, this incident happened on the exact same date as the last one, huh? It can't be a coincidence. Anyway, <laughs> we better ask Mr. Bloom about uh, today's trial. Everyone's saying, cover your eyes. We don't want to see anything again. Mm -hmm. So, you heard Orla singing, and that's when you realized something was happening? Correct. Oh, it's all so galling. I still can't believe the culprit used me, Norma de Plume. In any case, I swear, the killer whale song brings misfortune. Last year, now, again. A fun song like that? How could it bring misfortune to anyone? You think that barbaric song is fun? I'll never understand the taste of children. I don't remember that swashbuckling. Yeah, I don't remember that swashbuckling uh, spectacular song being all that barbaric. Whoa! 
Well, if you don't remember it, I will gladly sing it for you. Oh, no. Why? Why is this happening? Oh, oh, oh it's an anime. A vast mateys, land lovers ho, hand o'er all your gold. Village plunder, then feast like kings, them's the joys of piracy. Uh, are we in, were we muted or no? Uh, no, we're not muted. Oh, I thought you muted it. Oh, you just raised the level of the video. I raised the, the video. level okay. of the video, yeah. Oh, that's how it goes. <laughs> now, what is fun about those lyrics, pray tell? Uh, she seemed to be enjoying it well enough. How did she know the song? Wait a minute. That isn't the swashbuckler spectacular song. This is the song from Swashbuckler Spectacular. Another anime? A wavy pirates, we love to sail the seven seas. Just a bunch of scallywags who are as free as we can be. We swim through storms and waves all because you see. Got treasure and adventures waiting just for me. Okay. Well, that happened. What was that? I've never heard that song before. Um, mm. we're having a sing-off, apparently. Sing-off, yeah. Instead of a dance-off, we're having a sing-off. Interesting. <laughs> what? It's the song they use in the Swashbuckler Spectacular, of course. Duh. Oh, we be pirates. We love to sail the seven seas. Just a bunch of scallywags. Who are free as can be? We swim through storms and waves, all because you see, grand treasure and adventures waiting just for me. But that can't be it. I'm complete. It's completely different from the song that was there a year ago. A vast team meets land numbers all, and all your gold. Pillage plunder that feast like kings. Them's the joys of pirating. Unless you show me some proof, I won't believe your song is right. Uh, ah, uh, she's so stubborn! Well, if it's proof she wants, it's proof she'll get of the swashbuckler song spectacular. Alright, how <laughs> like, do we... Did she used to be in this special? Like, how did she have... Mm. I mean, are they just magically, like, made a video that just randomly played her? Was that... Was she actually used to work here? This recording contains the, swash, the Swashbuckler Spectacular song. In it, you can hear Miss Buckler and Orla singing together. Here we go again. No! Oh, I thought they were going to do the anime. Ah, we swim through the waters. Grand treasures waited just for me. Arr, matey. I painful. <laughs> but I've never heard that song before. Yeah, why didn't they play an anime for that one? Mm. Huh? But they always sing this song during the Swashbuckler Spectacular, of course. I came in late to that because I thought they were gonna play another video. Mm. Well, I haven't seen the show recently. Um, a year ago they used the song that I sang to you. I'd recognize that anywhere. Perhaps the killer whale can sing two songs? According to Miss Buckler, Orla only knows one song. Then, what was the song that I heard? Ah, uh, we wish we knew, uh, Mr. Plume. The Orca song, a song she wasn't supposed to know how to sing? Swashbuckler video updated in the court record. Huh. It's obvious I have a lot more investigating to do on Shipshape Aquarium. And perhaps I'd better look into the Center for Dangerous Animal Control as well. The Center of Dangerous Animal Control? Hmm. Can you tell us about the Center for Dangerous Animal Control? Just as the name implies, Blue Man, 
It's an organization that monitors dangerous animals, of course. The center demanded that the aquarium put the killer whale down a year ago. Oh, wow. P -p 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 put her down? But the aquarium owner refused their demand, saying it was an accidental death. But I hardly think a persistent organization like that would just give up and go away. I'm quite sure the power of money helps convince them. What makes you think that? Once a month, the owner and the vet disappear from this aquarium. And I came to find out that each time a large amount of money was being paid out. Oh, and you think the money was going to the Center for Dangerous Animal Control? I'm looking into it. You'll have to wait until my book comes out to see. In any case, I can't catch that man out on anything. But that veterinarian is not to be trusted. Dr. Herman Crabb, there's still so much we don't know about him. Evil veterinarian. Well, I don't see Rifle here. What do you want to do next, uh, Mr. Wright? I think we'd better stop by the office and discuss a plan of action. Okay. So, we're gonna go back to the office, I guess. <laughs> what? I don't know. Having her sing the song was just... It was weird. <clears throat> Anime song, back to... All right, guys. Um, you guys are at one twenty-two, so eighteen likes away. Great job! Thanks for the likes. It's really helping this series to continue. So, people in the chat are saying it's Arkham Knight on Switch. That's updating. Okay, so I'll look at Arkham Knight on Switch tonight. Maybe we'll actually be able to do the Nightfall Protocol. I don't know, because we only have two Riddler trophies left to collect. Then we beat the Riddler, and then the game is over. Which would be nice. July 21st, write anything agency. So that means it would have taken from November 30th all the way until February 26th. Three, two, one, ta-da! Wow, you pulled Mr. Nick's cell phone from your magic panties. That's amazing, Trucy. Haha, <laughs> that's all for Trucy's magic show today. Come back and see me next time. Great job, Trucy. You never fail to impress. I have no idea how you did that either. We're back. Oh, Pearls, stopping by for a visit. Uh, hello, Mr. Nick. Are you missing something? Uh, thanks. From out of the old magic panties, huh? How's the investigation going, Mr. Wright? The investigation. We don't have much time, but we didn't get a chance to check out the crime scene yet either. I see. Oh, speaking of checking out the crime scene, Daddy, you should bring your forensic kit with you. Fingerprint powder to check for prints and luminol testing fluid to look for blood. Oh, wow, Trucy, I didn't know you had a stuff like that, too. Haha, <laughs> I got them from a detective friend of mine. Mr. Nick, I'd like to help you with your investigation. I, can I borrow your forensic ink? <laughs> I feel bad for making you work when you're supposed to be having fun, for, uh, Pearls. I don't mind. I'd like to see Rifle again, too. If you have anything for me to do, I'd like to help, too, boss. Yeah, thanks. I'll be sure to ask you if anything comes up, then. Uh, well, I'll be right here, hanging around, watering Charlie, if you think of anything. <laughs> I appreciate that, Apollo. I've got some good kids here. Wow, Apollo does nothing. All right, team. Let's do our best to have faith. Uh, we can save Sasha all together. It sure feels nice to be part of a great group like this. Mine is one person, Apollo, since he's not helping at all. I just wanted to say I really love working here with all you fabulous people. Except for Apollo. He's doing nothing. Thank you for bringing me aboard, boss. Uh, same here, Athena. She's so earnest. She's making me blush. Okay, let's all run over to the aquarium! I hope I can be of some use with the forensic ink kit! 
Hey, wait up, you two! They left me without me. Wow, we literally left Apollo here all by himself. I feel bad. That's his job. It's literally his name is on the... It's the Apollo Justice Trilogy, and he's just sitting home watering a plant. They only call it the Apollo Justice Trilogy. Like, he, um... Technically, only has the one game, and then Phoenix Wright is in both Dual Destinies and the other one. Oh, like, I didn't know that. Apollo Justice is a part of the games, but they call it the Apollo Justice Trilogy because Apollo appears in all three games. Oh, okay, I understand. But only the first one is really about Apollo. And then oh. I think the third game has, like, half Ace Attorney, half Apollo Justice. Thank you for clarifying that knowledgeable gamer man. Oh, yeah, no problem. July 21st, Ship Shape Aquarium, Orca Pool. I want to see those little animated, like, song things again. That was cool. I mean, sometimes they'll have anime pop up. Apollo has still has a big presence, at least in the next game. Okay, yeah, awesome. Thank has, you, Don Hogg. He is a big presence, but he's not the star. He's like a, um... Technically, he's the star of the first game because it revolves around him. Like, uh, the fact that he has a, a sister he doesn't know about, Trucy... Uh, the fact that his mom is still alive and he has no idea. He's got special powers with that bracelet. All the cases about Apollo Justice, the first game, all revolve around Apollo's life. Like in mm. some way or form. Interesting. Whereas Dual Destinies is kind of both Apollo and uh, Phoenix Wright. But it's more about Phoenix Wright's return after Apollo Justice. Cool, Luke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, justice we trust. Good timing. We're done with the crime scene for now. And we're just about to examine the show stage. Marlon Rhymes helped with cleaning, so we've got to talk with him. I thought he'd be more uh, tight-lipped than this, but hey. You're welcome to look around here now, if you would like. Uh, thank you. I think we'll do just that. Oh, by the way, if you want to examine the bottom of the pool, I recommend using the hoist over by the ladder to get down there. A crane-like uh, thing hanging from the ceiling, right? Got it. Just stand on the ladder platform and the police guard will operate it for you. Uh, thanks. Why couldn't the pool be less deep? Well, good luck to us both. In justice we trust, after all. Ha 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 That guy has great teeth. Now that Detective Fulbright's gone, we can do anything we want here. Yeah, the guard is still here, so keep your voice down when you say stuff like that, Athena. Oh! All right, so I guess we're going into the pool. Da -da 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 -da. I don't even see where the crane is. Where is the crane? Um, I think the crane is on the... All right, we'll investigate where the body was. Um, the victim fell to his death and was kept down at the bottom of the pool. But Orla brought him up to the edge of the pool with her lifesaver trick. I wonder if Orla was actually trying to save him. I'm convinced she knocked down the equipment to call for help, too. Yeah, I bet that's what really happened because she loved him, you know? Aww. So that looks like... Where is the platform? It looks like the water was drained for the police investigation. It seems kind of sad somehow without the water. When something like that, when, uh, when something was there before it's suddenly gone, it has a psychological effect, you know? Like, for example, if all the magic props in this office were suddenly put away neatly, I don't think... I don't think that's ever going to happen as long as Trucy continues to practice magic. Well, she might not always be interested in magic, you know. She's at the age when young women start to worry about their future. The same thing happened to me, and I ended up becoming a lawyer. I'm pretty sure Trucy will always be interested in magic. Yeah, Trucy isn't like normal girls. Not like other girls. Yes, whoops. Yesterday I asked around about this orca pool room, you know. They said that this hoist is used to move equipment and even Orla herself. How do they move Orla? Haha! <laughs> I thought you'd ask that, Mr. Wright. Apparently they use a stretcher made especially for an orca! Well, what do you know? Athena looks pleased with herself. I've seen that kind of stretcher in Free Willy, the movie. How do we get down there? Uh, maybe that moves it. Let's use the hoist to go down to the bottom of the pool. 
Oh, there's... How did we do that? There's Orca. Oh, so while the pool's being cleaned, she's in that, like, tiny tank? She has her own stuff down here. That's kind of cool. So then that side of the tank is dry. This is where the guy died, yeah. So they killed the guy over there where there's no water. Well, no, there's supposed to be water on both sides, but... Oh. Yeah. All right, so examine the pool. Also, how does the orca whale have a must? Like, she keeps the mustache on 24-7. And the hat. Like, you'd think that she'd take that off. <sighs> okay. This must be Orla's bedroom. There's even a sofa and everything. <laughs> Cute. Orla, congratulations on your not guilty verdict. But we have some bad news. Now Sasha has been arrested instead, Orla. Fweet! Orla seems sad. Fweet! I'm sure she is. I can sense the sadness filling her heart. Don't worry, Orla. We'll save Sasha. Fweet! Fweet! I think Orla's wishing us good luck. Orla really seems to understand uh, what we're saying, I guess. She can't understand our words, but I bet she can understand our hearts, Mr. Wright. Actually, I would say that is what animals can do. Nothing to see here. When we talk to Zelda, she responds. Nothing to see here. Doesn't she respond to you, Luke? Sometimes. Uh, sometimes. You say how you're feeling and Zelda was in response with meow. Sometimes she meows. Okay, so I I've guess... I've heard her respond to you. Wow, look at all that treasure, Mr. Wright! Those jewels on that crown are huge! They sure are. I guess uh, everything is a size uh, large around here. No, everything is size Orla! I stand corrected. I can't believe you called Orla large, Mr. Wright. Is this a good time to get started, Mr. Nick? Huh? Oh yeah, started with what? This is the crime scene, right? So this should be the perfect place to start forensicing! Oh, she wants to use the forensic kit so badly. She's practically beaming. Oh, Pearl, so cute. All right, let's do it. Forensic gang it is. Hooray! I'll get to help. All right, we need these. Uh, what's with the glasses, Mr. Wright? It's not like they're a fashion statement. We need them to see if there's any blood. All right, Pearls, you spray the uh, luminol and wherever I need it, okay? Got it, Mr. Nick! I won't miss an inch! 17-year-old Pearls is cute. Got your glasses on, everybody? Good. Now to check the bottom of the pool. Pearl's gonna be cute her whole life. Kawaii. Alright, so spray for looking for blood. I mean, can we even look in that one area? Mm. Forensic stuff. I guess we spray the entire screen. Won't Orla get sick if we spray her with this? No. Alright, that's not even close to how you spell it. Um, I'm gonna guess it's F O R E N S I C. Forensic. Oh, here, I have it right here. F O R E N S I C. F O R E N? Mm hmm. S I C. Sick. S. And then what do we do? Forensic stuff? I'm just calling it forensic time. Forensic time! Alright, here we go. You can call it forensicking. Like Pearls does. Looking for blood, looking for blood. Look, I see something, Mr. Nick! If your deductions are correct, boss, I guess this luminal reaction means that the victim hit his skull-shaped rock when he fell to his death! I guess so. Skull Rock added to the court record. Wow. You have to keep spraying everywhere, I guess. Still spraying. Not seeing anything else. Oh my gosh! Oh no! 
I'm so sorry I got someone to roll up by mistake. Calm down, Pearly. It's okay. Look, there's some luminol reactions on Orla, too. Aw, oh, poor thing was bleeding yesterday. The luminol must be showing all her injuries. But wait a minute. Mr. Plume said the blood disappeared when Orla put the hat on. Huh? So shouldn't her injuries be under her hat, then? If this blood isn't from Orla's injuries, then what could it be? She has blood on her. She has his blood. I guess that's about it for the inside of the pool. Then let me just get a quick photo to remember the occasion by. It's not every day we get to see the bottom of an Aquarian pool. Yeah, that's a good shot. Oh, I bet that'll be important in the court record. Mm -hmm. I'll mark where the aluminal reactions were, too. Oh, this is Pearl's handwriting. Yay, my first collaborative work with Pearly. Pool bottom photo added to the court record. Well, it's cute. Pearl helped out, and Apollo did nothing at all. He stayed home watering the uh, plant. I hear something. Orla? Boss! Something's wrong with Orla! What? You're right. She's listless and she's sinking. Oh no! Maybe it's because the luminal got on her! Oh no! What do we do, Mr. Nick? We can't do anything for ourselves. Let's get Dr. Crab. I'll run and get him! Oh, well, this is so intense. What's Orla's condition? She's listless and sinking. Maybe she's unconscious. The pool is drained. Son of a gun, who did this? She'll drown unless we do something. Here, give me a hand. Huh? Us? No. Uh, no, I meant the steel samurai. Of course you. Just help me. What? All right. What do you want us to do, sir? There's no time to fill the pool to get her to the top. Get the orca stretcher. It's a piece of black cloth with a skull and crossbones. Looks like a pirate flag. When the stretcher is ready, press the hoist button. Okay, we're on it. Uh-oh. No time for chit-chat. Get going. Get the stretcher. Both Orla's right and left brain hemorrhages are completely asleep now. She'll drown if we don't do something. What does the stretcher look like again? It's a piece of black cloth with a skull and crossbones on it. Look for the pirate flag. Once the stretcher's ready, press the hoist button. Hurry! Uh, okay, uh, uh mm -hmm. examine... There must be a pirate. There it is. That must be it. So this is the pirate flag stretcher for Orca, huh? We can't use it with all this stuff on it. Let's clear it off. Good. Now push the hoist button and lower the stretcher. The control panel is on the wall to your right. Uh. Oops. Control panel. There it is. Ah, this must be the button to move the hoist. <laughs> Dr. Crab, the stretcher is ready. Good. Let's get it under Orla. Well, Orla. I don't think we did that. I think she just randomly started getting sick. Maybe not. I'll take it from here. Stand back. I have to treat her immediately. Hmm? There's something in her stomach. What? What do you mean, something in her stomach? There, I got it all out. Will Orla be alright, Dr. Crab? Yes, she'll be fine. She's just sleeping now. Orcas are mammals, so they won't die if they're out of the water for a little while. But their own weight puts stress on their organs and their skin starts to dry out. I put some of my special handmade cream on her skin as an emergency measure. Feel better soon, Orla. Oh, if only I hadn't gotten that luminol on her. Luminol? Nah, no problem here. That stuff just washes right off. Orla's condition has nothing to do with you, young lady. Orla is sick. I knew that we didn't do anything. There's no way t spraying a tiny bit of luminol would have caused her to have some problems. 
Well, I mean, I guess it depends on what it was, but. Orla sick. See, Pearl, you're fine. You didn't do anything wrong. Okay. You were just doing your job, Pearly. I don't need to share that information with you people. It's none of your business. I have to get back to my rounds, so I'll leave the rest to the crew. Please keep an eye on Orla while I r r rouse up some crew members. Dr. Crab sure is acting funny. He seems to be hiding something. Maybe we should check on Orla's condition before the staff gets here. Wow, poor Orla. Look at the fish. There's a pill in there. We should check out the contents of Orla's stomach, I guess. Yeah, look at that pill. Hey, I see something mixed in with the fish. It looks like... Whoops. It looks like a medicine capsule. There's something written on it. I think it says three Zs. That... Oh, what would it be doing in Orla's stomach? Mysterious capsule added to the court record. Maybe somebody tried to poison her. I wonder what kind of medicine it is. Let's ask Dr. Crab. It might have something to do with Orla's condition. Maybe. We'd better not ask. He must have noticed it himself, yet he didn't want to mention it. I think he's hiding something about Orla's condition. If we show him the capsule, he might try to take it away from us. Yeah, I guess he was acting pretty sketchy, Mr. Wright. Okay, let's look into it ourselves then. Good idea. When we get back to the office, we can ask for Apollo's help. But we didn't get to examine an orc, the whale. I guess that wraps up our investigation here. Orla still isn't fully awake yet. Oh, here comes the, some staff. Looks like they're going to put Orla back into the pool. Yeah, but I wanted to examine the hat. Dang it. Oops, we... Um... Wanted to see the injury. And I guess uh, they're going to fill the pool back up. I bet that will take a while. Well, I guess we can leave Orla in the staff's capable hands now. Right. So where to now, Mr. Wright? Let's head to the show stage next. If we're lucky, the police will be done with their uh, with the place, so we'll get to look around. Mm. Um, we're stand uh, starting to get quite a bit of evidence now. I still can't figure out who the culprit is, though. Maybe we should look for information in other places besides the crime scene. Investigating is the key, but questioning people is vital too, Mr. Wright. <clears throat> I know. Let's make it a competition to see which of us can find the best evidence. <clears throat> the loser buys the winner a glass of OJ. All right, fine. Whatever. Why are the Swashbuckler Spectacular songs Ms. Plume and I know different? I got the feeling it has something to do with this case. Hmm, why would there be two songs? It must mean something. I hate it when I don't know the answer. I'm going to go for a little to run it off. Some steam! I'm gonna go for a little run. I'm going for a little run to let off some steam! <laughs> Athena, wait! Better not. You might forget uh, what made you want to let off some steam in the first place. Oh, uh... Time to go to the show stage. July 21st, Ship Shape Aquarium, show stage. Alright, so this is uh, 59 minutes. Oh wow, this is cool. And the boat actually has an orca whale on the front. So Orla really is the star of the show, I guess. She's like the main attraction. Mm-hmm. Just like when we went to the aquarium, there was a star of that show, and that was the Hammerhead Shark. Yep. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to need to... Uh, Alright. Not a little pirate guy sitting there. Yeah. He's been there for a long time. So this is where they hold the Swashbuckler Spectacular, huh? Looks like the police are done with their work here. Yo! It's you lawyers! Uh, how could you let Sasha get arrested? Didn't I ask you to take care of her? We're sorry, we couldn't prevent her from getting arrested. 
But uh, as her lawyers, we'll do everything we can for her. Sorry, I got upset. If there's anything I can do to help Sasha, just say the word. Marlon, <clears throat> you can trust Mr. Nick. I'm going to do what I can with this forensic ink kit, too. I'm going to cover this whole area with forensic ink. Forensicness. That a girl, small fry? You can have free reign of this place. I want to check this place out, too, but I better talk to Mr. Rhymes. All right, helping with cleaning. I hear you helped Sasha with the cleaning, Mr. Rhymes. Well, not really helped. I was just uh, taking care of the orca here while she cleaned. Sasha felt bad for making Orla stay up so late, so she asked me to give her a snack. It was a little less uh, than her ordinary meals, but she seemed satisfied. Oh yeah, and I put Orla on the transport stretcher too. Transport stretcher? So that hoist, see that hoist up there on the right? The stretcher can be used from it. The stage show is right next to the Orla pool room. And we used the hoist to move the orca cargo between the two areas. So the rail we saw in the orca pool room runs all the way there, huh? Why? Did you want to ride? Hmm. Aerial investigation, huh? Sounds good to me. No, no, no. That's not okay. I like my investigation on sweet terra firma. Actually, the hoist can only be operated from the orca pool room. Oh, that's right. I remember seeing the hoist control panel in there. So I'm sorry, but I can't give you a ride without somebody on the other end. No need to be sorry. Woof! Dodge that bullet. Wow, that could be part of the murder. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> if it wasn't Mr. Buckler or Orla, who else could have killed Mr. Shipley? Well, I know Sasha is innocent, but I'm not sure about the Orca. What? But we proved her innocence in court this morning. But a few days ago, that Orca attacked Sasha right here in the show pool. I saw that Orca take Sasha's body into her mouth and squeeze her chest. Her chest? Hmm. They were probably practicing the lifesaver trick. But Sasha was being crushed so bad, she couldn't even blow the whistle. I wanted to help her right away, but... Look, I hate to admit it, but I froze. I, uh, I'm a weak man. Can't protect anyone. I doubt there are many people who would... I doubt there are many people who put themselves against an orca. Everybody tried to ta talk her out of it, but she won't give up on uh, practicing. When we said Orca could kill her, she said she trusted Orla. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, everybody seemed to think Orla is a killer. How can you trust a creature that can't speak? You can't even know what it's thinking. But with Orcas and Dolphins, you can have communication of the heart. Okay, will they let us examine this place now? Okay, we're gonna look around. Maybe they, maybe they threw the guy, maybe they threw the guy from here and dropped him into the pool using that crane thing. <clears throat> Eek! There's a skeleton adrift, Mr. Wright! Huh? Haha, -ha, it's just a prop. Were you really scared? A little bit, actually. By your screaming. Is the skeleton an enemy defeated by Orla's pirates? No, he's an informant named the Skeleton Kid. A dashing, spirited character, neither friend nor foe. So you're saying he's alive in the show? Yep, pretty much. He's a friendly skeleton. This colorful sign, did Miss Buckler make it? Wow, how'd you know? Yeah, that sign is for the new show. Before she went to clean, she painted it and left it to dry. She told me to keep an eye on it while I was taking care of the orca. Orla's Swashbuckler Spectacular. Huh, isn't that the Skull Rock there on the right? Mr. Rhyme, is the Skull Rock part of the set for the new show? Yeah, I guess so. If they were going to use it in the show, what's it doing in the Orca Pool? Hmm. Interesting. So maybe it fell too in there. Hmm. So this sign is so eye-catching with all those twinkling stars. I think they're supposed to be starfish. It's for the pirate show, after all. Hmm, a few of them look more like leaves to me. Handmade sign added to the cord record. 
Well, I think he wasn't murdered in the orca pool. I think he was murdered somewhere else. And taken into the orca pool using the hoist. Yeah. Uh, Sasha put so much effort into making this sign for the new show. No wonder she was mad about what happened. Huh? I wonder what he's talking about. I better ask. Okay, so we clicked on that, so we should have another talking option. New show. Awesome. You say Miss Buckler was mad. Was it because of the new show? Uh, me and my big mouth? Okay, but you never heard it from me. It was a rumor that the captain wasn't going to let Sasha be in the new show. What? But why not? I don't know. It was just a rumor. I don't know if it was true. So Mr. Shipley was going to do the show all by himself? Swashbuckler Flyer updated in the court record. I just understood. Luke, his outfit has a gold chain for yeah. his name tag. Yeah. I can't even imagine the show without Miss Buckler. It would be like, where's the beef? Is she trying to say it would be like bones without any meat on them? Sasha wanted to go back to the old Swashbuckler Spectacular. But now that the captain's gone, who knows what's going to happen with the show. She wanted to go back to the original? Okay. That's interesting. Alright, we're gonna go back and examine more stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would examine that crane thingy. Can we look at this rock? Mm -hmm. We did that. What about the starfish? Whoops! Sorry, dude. This. Nothing special here. Okay, what about this? We saw starfish when we were at the aquarium. We did see starfish in the aquarium. Yeah. It's true. Uh, nothing special here. And we saw sharks. We saw lots of sharks. Nothing special here. I wish we saw a killer whale, but we saw hippos. That was We cool. saw hippos, yeah. Nothing special here. We saw the same device in the orca pool room, too, huh? Yeah! We used it to lift Orla when she was on the stretcher. In the show, Sasha makes her grand entrance by hanging from this thing. Oh, we could think of a cool grand entrance for us, too! I've always wanted to burst into the middle of somebody else's trial with a loud bang. I've always wanted to crash in through the ceiling! I bet that would really knock the socks off the judge and the gallery. Just what exactly was this girl learning while she was in Europe? Watching too much Batman. <laughs> The scallion was in the Swashbuckler Spectacular too, wasn't it? Look at that cute figurehead! It looks just like Orla! It is cute, but it looks like it's also a cannon. The enemy lets their guard down and then blam! Very piratey, don't you think? I thought Orla and Sasha were supposed to be the good guys. We should do the same thing in court, Mr. Wright! Lure him in and blam! Present evidence! I don't think the judge would appreciate any blamming in this court. <laughs> so that's a pirate ship. Uh, mm. Nothing special here. Nothing special here. So we did the pirate ship. This ladder only goes down to the surface of the water. Well, it's not like a public pool. Everybody who gets in this pool knows how to swim. Just like in the courtroom, it's sink or swim in there. A newbie could really get hurt. You know, like last time in court, I could have really gotten injured. I was an inch away from getting attacked by a witness. Yeah, a trial with Apollo can be pretty dangerous affair. Mm. Look at this pool, it's huge. So this is where they do the swashbuckler spectacular, huh? Yeah, this show pool is the uh, same depth as the orca pool. They practice the tricks in the orca pool and then do the real show here. Are you interested in Swashbuckler Spectacular? Of course! I've only seen it on TV, though! Well, I'm new here, so i never seen it once. Athena is... oh. Athena's a big fan. She watches the recording over and over. I love the show and the ocean! Standing here makes me feel like I'm at the beach! Especially with it open to the sky, you can even hear the sound of the surf nearby. Why don't you take a dip in the pool? Really? I can? In that case... Whoa, what are you talking about? You can't swim here! You were just joking. 
Athena wasn't. Right! I was just joking! <laughs> of course! I was joking too! Don't tell me she was actually gonna do it. Um, you know she was. Oh, Mr. Nick, I found some peculiar fingerprints. Pearls, I almost forgot she's been forensicking for me this whole time. Oh, who's that? Who's what? Oh! Prosecutor Blackwill, what are you doing here? Just some business to attend to. Prosecutor Blackwell insisted, so I brought him along to get a little exercise. Is it business with us? No, not you. My business is with that animal keeper there. Marlon Rhymes. You'll be a witness for the prosecution tomorrow. You gotta be kidding me! Why would I want to testify against Sasha? What you want doesn't matter. Now come along. But if I leave, who's gonna feed the orca? The other animal keepers are too scared to go near her now. Um, maybe I can help. I'm concerned about Orla's health, and this way I can stay close and look after her. I can feed her and do a telecast too. If you need me to, I'll do anything to help. Sounds like Pearls wants to do something nice for Orla and make sure she's okay. That's nice, Pearl. Small fry, you tripping? That orca is dangerous, you know? TV phone. I won't be able to contact you if I have to do telecast. Marlon, may I please borrow yours? What? Sure, small fry. Anything for you. Especially when you're going out of your way to help with this. I don't know if I'm going to testify, but I guess I can at least hear what the police have to say. <laughs> ah, thanks for the cooperation. Now justice will be served with a strategy meeting. Ah, come on, Mr. Wright! Let's get back to our investigation! Huh. How sad. The police have already investigated all there is to investigate. Your efforts are a waste of time. Nothing we do to try to save our client is a waste of time, prosecutor. Today, the orca. Tomorrow, Sasha Buckler. You intend to save them both? Huh. You say you believe in your clients, but isn't money really your true motivation? Why not admit you're only doing this for your own benefit? I could understand that much more readily than your empty righteous talk. Of your own benefit? That's not why we're doing it at all! Now, Athena, try not to let him get to you. All right, we should be off, Prosecutor Blackwell, and justice we trust! Ha 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 I didn't even know we were getting paid for this. Ah! Never been so insulted! Be right back! I need some water to wash away all my anger! Uh oh, she hit the prosecutor Blackwell with that water. He doesn't seem to care though. Hmm. I guess prosecutors these days are more of a harsh monochrome than fancy frills. Oh, wait, what about those peculiar fingerprints you said you found, Pearls? Oh, I'll tell you about them. Dang, fingerprints now. Now it's Pearl's theme. Pearl is cute. Pearl is cute. And Pearl is sweet. She wears pink and she's cute. Fingerprints. Now it's Pearl time. Talk with pearls. Okay, peculiar prints. So tell me about this uh, big discovery you made. Well, I don't know if it's a big discovery, but I found some odd fingerprints on the pool letter over there, Mr. Nick. Okay, so how about those? What's so peculiar about them? Well, they were on the left side of the letter, but they're right-handed prints, Mr. Nick. What did a person usually hold the left side of the ladder with their left hand? Plus, I think they're made from above by grasping the ladder with the right hand. Hmm, now that you mention it, that is strange. I wonder whose prints they are. I compared them with the prints on the file, and they turned out to be Marlin's. How did he manage to leave prints in such an awkward position? 
So, Mr. Nick, was I helpful? Yes, you were. Thank you very much, Pearls. I don't know if they're related to the case, but I'll keep that in mind. Ladder prints added to the court record. I think Marlon is nice. I don't think he was involved in anything. Everyone's that. a suspect. I think I think Sasha's nice too. Everyone's a suspect. I don't Maybe they all were the murderers together! I'm so nervous! Haha! <laughs> I bet Detective Fulbright doesn't know about these prints. Imagine their search wasn't as thorough here as it was at the crime scene. You're probably right. I'm sure they uh, checked everything at the actual crime scene. But I guess they can't do forensics on every inch of the twist, uh, rest of the aquarium. But we could, but we could thanks to Pearly, and now we have a new piece of information. Mr. Wright? Oh, you're embarrassing me, Athena. Pearl's cute. A oh, rifle, yeah, we need to get him. Hey, hey it's Rifle! We've got to catch her! Don't worry, she's being a good girl right here on my lap. Aha, well, I'm glad she's been found. I forgot we were looking for her, actually. I think somebody's jealous. Well, I think I'll go talk to this stuff about Orla. Alright, good luck, Pearls, and thanks again. Well, I guess we're done with things here. What do you want to do next? How about if we have Apollo check out our mystery evidence, Mr. Wright? Oh yeah, that's right. We haven't done that yet. Good idea. Let's stop by the office. I don't care if it was Mr. Blackwell who's the murderer, because he's me. Mr. Blackwell isn't the murderer, he's just... I think he murdered her. No, he murdered someone else. July 21st, right? Anything agency. Although, somehow I think he was set up for murder. Really? Yep. So you're back! How's the investigation going? It's going pretty well, but there's still things uh, we need answers for. Let me know if you're anything I can do to help. Yeah, there is something. Apollo's you know, help. Come on, guys and gals, let's keep those likes up. We need Apollo's help watering the plants. Everyone's a suspect. No one is safe. Hmm. Uh, would you like to help out with the investigation, Apollo? You bet I would. What do you want me to do work on? Hmm, let's see. Do I actually have anything for him to do? Okay, and it's suddenly crickets. Oh, I know, boss! Let's have Apollo look at the evidence we collected! Oh yeah, good idea! He might notice something... Well, good idea! He might actually notice something that'll help us win the case. Investigation. Um... Hmm... So we give him... The, uh, ask him about the medicine. Evidence? Does that mean you want me at the defense bench in court? No, I just wanted to see what you think. Oh, darn. In that case, I don't think you want to hear what I think. Um, this. Apollo, there's something I'd like your help with. You have work for me? What is it? Do you have this capsule checked out? I think it's some kind of medicine. Sure thing, Mr. Wright. I'll go to the hospital or something and have somebody take a look. Let's see. I'm pretty sure the closest one is Hickfield Clinic. Good luck, Apollo, and thanks. I wonder if they'll let us uh, see Sasha now. It has been quite a while. Let's stop by the detention center and see. We have something to deliver to her, too. Don't forget. All right, detention center, visitors, room, July 21st. All right, boss, chin up! We have to lift Sasha's spirits! Now, hi, I like your enthusiasm. Ahoy, me hearties! Thank you for coming, Arr. I be in good spirits today. Worry not about me, lawyer people. Uh, she's trying to cheer us up? Well, that 
went over like a lead balloon. I was trying to make up for your troubles. Maybe the two of you need to take it easy. I guess they both had the same idea. We came to let you know, Sasha, that we can take on your defense if you'll have us. What? Is something wrong? Why is she hiding from us? It p p p prosecuted Blackwell said that you two would abandon me. But here you are, to, to my rescue. That's why I'm so happy. Sounds like she's crying back there. Of course we wouldn't have been in you, Sasha. Oh, Sasha, don't cry. Maybe the two of you need to take it easy. Great, now I've got crying women in stereo. <laughs> okay, I'm all right now. Thank you for taking on the case. We're glad to do it, Sasha. Well, now that you're uh, smiling again, we have a few questions to ask you. Okay, so question Sasha. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm um, two away from 140. Um, uh, please keep the likes up, guys. Because we're kind of not being um, recommended in the search engine right now. Oh, great job, guys! Awesome! Alright, next next is, uh, we'll try to get 160 for our next light goal. Trying to, but we're still not getting enough people. We're gonna have to stop soon. We're in big trouble. Okay. About the murder. On the night before the murder, did you enter the Orca Pool Room alone? That's right! On July 20th from 3 to 6 a.m. I was cleaning and organizing. The captain and I were actually supposed to clean together, starting at 4 a.m., but we got into a fight. I couldn't face him, so I went an hour early and started cleaning. What does the orca pool room cleaning involve, Sasha? Well, first we've got to move Orla to the show stage pool before we get started, see? Mr. Ryan mentioned he took care of Orla in the uh, show stage pool. After Orla was moved, I drained the pool and rearranged the equipment and all the props. And did the captain never show up? Uh, 4 a.m. came and went, but he never showed. I bet he was mad at me. I wish I'd apologize to him instead of being all prickly and angry like a scorpion fish. <gasps> Maybe the captain was murdered in the morning and then put in the pool later, Luke. Probably. I'm glad we could prove Orla's innocence, but we didn't know you would you would get arrested, Sasha. I'm so sorry. Us too. You're the best, Sasha. I never imagined Orla's tricks would ever be used to commit a crime. Can you tell us more about the lifesaver trick? Yeah, sure. There's a little speaker on the captain's clothes and on the training dummies. That speaker can emit sound waves. When a trick command is issued with a whistle, Ola uses the sound waves as a guide to find the person she's supposed to rescue. I see. Does anybody else know about that trick and how it works? The entire crew knows about it. But it takes quite a bit of practice to be able to command the lifesaver trick. It would be easy for anybody... No, no. Oh, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be easy for anybody who wasn't a trainer. And that's why they suspected Sasha. Then Ola can only perform one trick per signal, see? In other words, she can't perform two tricks at one time. Whistle updated in the court record. Orla performs one trick per signal. She can't do two at a time. Wait a second. So she can't do the singing trick and the lifesaver trick at the same time? <gasps> so what was the song that Mr. Plume heard? Oh my gosh. Because she said, I heard the, the orca singing and then she did the other thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Wright, I just remembered. We have something to return to Sasha. Oh yeah, you're right. I have it right here in the evidence. And we have to give Sasha that item Detective Fulbright gave to us. Hmm. Let's see. It's the medicine. Oops. Yeah. Why won't it let me give it to her? That's weird. I don't know why it won't let us present that. Uh, oh. Oh, maybe we could uh, try presenting some other stuff first, maybe. 
Um, what about that? Um, uh, let's see. What? What about the? Uh, do we still have the calendar in our thing? We could ask her about what time she was there. This is your calendar, isn't it, Sasha? Huh? No, mine's at the aquarium. Yeah, Mr. Rhymes said he found this one in the nap room. Huh? I didn't think anyone else at the aquarium used a calendar like that. The owner of this calendar had a meeting scheduled with the victim. This mystery person might be the killer. We better find the calendar's owner. Calendar updated, so it's not Sasha's. Oh, wow, that's not Sasha's calendar. Maybe now you can uh, try different things. I don't know. I guess we can try... Ah, uh, that lady! Do you know what kind of terrible thing she wrote about all our... So, you knew about this book? Yeah, I wish I didn't, but all kinds of people kept showing it to me. I'll tell you, I had had enough of that woman on a book! On a book! Wow. Alright, okay. I see what you did there. So, what do you think about what happened that day? Hmm. It must have been some kind of accident. I believe in all his innocence. I can sense you really do believe in her from the bottom of your heart. Well, I believe in her too, Sasha. That's right. After all, she was proven not guilty in this case, too. We believe in both of you. Maybe we can try the... the something else that would... Maybe we should try presenting the key card to her. I don't know. Sorry. Sea creatures only are the only things I know about. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Gee, I didn't need to, uh... Gee, I didn't mean to put her in a funk. Maybe now we can try presenting the medicine or something. Do you two want to be in the squash, uh, swashbuckler spectacular? You have regular people participate? Of course! We even have a special tool for people who want to be in it! What roles do we play if we say yes? Let's see. The rolls of a blue seahorse and a yellow sea slug are available. Judging by the colors, I must be the seahorse. And I'm the sea slug? No way! I won't do it! But sea slugs are all fluttery and beautiful, Athena. They're beautiful? In that case, I'll do it! Her mind is pretty much an open book. Haha, oh, I hope we can do a show together someday. Alright, so we'll present her medicine. Detective Fulbright asked us to give you this medicine. Arr! The bold sucking baggard had the spine to send me a gift. Bilge sucking whatever. Dread pirate, no, no stash, don't stand there gaping like a weak little minnow. Have a tea, mateys. Sorry, I don't know read pirate well. Oh, a real swashbuckling battle. And if it might be a fight ye want, a fight ye shall have. If you can't do the pirate voice, just read regular. Could you two please not drop into show mode out of the blue? She's a pirate, though. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I'll take that medicine. She's acting kind of funny. What is this medicine for, by the way? Uh, well, I guess I can't keep it a secret from you two. I... I suffer from a heart condition. A heart condition? Oh, then you better get to the hospital right away! Take it easy, Athena. She's in detention, remember? Don't worry, it's not as serious as it sounds. They can fix it with surgery. Not serious. A heart condition is a heart condition. Don't tell us not to worry. Yeah, I'm sorry. The captain was just as mad at me the day before yesterday. We both got so worked up at one point. It was like a shark eating shark situation. Phew, that sounds scary. Do you mind if I ask more about this fight? The reason for the fight. Oh. <sighs> 
Um, why were you arguing with Mr. Shipley? Ah, uh, the captain knew about my heart condition, and he was worried about me. So, he said he wouldn't put me in the new show. Oh, that's why it's only him. See, I'm not even in the new flyer. Oh, you're right, Sasha. It's just Orla and the new adversary, Red Stash. Hmm. I was so upset and frustrated. I was still crying when I went to do the cleaning. And I cried for quite a while before I drained the pool, too. But then, you know what? Orla did a trick to try and cheer me up. Oh, she tried to cheer you up. She acted out the scene where she defeats the giant octopus by spiking a ball at it. Oh, that's why the thing was missing. She spiked that ball so hard she even ended up breaking off one of the octopus's legs. What a dramatic way to cheer up a friend. I mean, she is a giant whale. So that's why we argued, because he wasn't going to put me in the new show, you see. But I was determined to be in the show yesterday. It was July 20th, you see, the anniversary of the death of the trainer before me. Azura Summers. The person Norma de Plume wrote about in her book. Yeah, I wanted to explain to the audience that it was an accident, not murder. That's why I wanted, that's why I needed to be in the show so bad, you see. To do, during the cleaning, I moved the skull rock to the orca pool. Oh, what? But why? It was a key prop. I figured the new show couldn't go on without it. I thought they'd be forced to switch back to the old show. Wow, that was pretty extreme. Well, she really wanted to be in the show. Skull rock has been updated in the court record, so that's why the skull rock was there. So Sasha moved the skull rock to the orca pool at the time of the cleaning. And if there's blood on that rock, then that must mean that the victim's death occurred after the rock was moved. Around what time did you finish up cleaning? It was about 6 a.m. actually. So that places suspicion on whatever met, well, so that places suspicion on whoever met with the victim after 6 a.m. Azura Summers. So Azura Summers was the trainer before you. That's right. She was a year older than me. She taught me all about how to command Orla. I bet Azura and Sasha were like sisters to one another. She was the one who taught me the signals for the singing and lifesaver tricks too. After she died, I swore on this charm. I vowed to become a great trainer someday, just like Azura was. What is that charm? It's a keepsake to remember Azura by. She always wore it. She told me once that she and her boyfriend had matching charms. I never found out who he was, so I couldn't give this one to him. I've had it ever since. You're keeping the memory of Miss Summers alive. The captain always carried around a memento of Azura, too. Her walkie-talkie. Huh? Did the victim have a walkie-talkie on him? Maybe I should show Sha uh, Sasha the victim's photo and see what she has to say. Okay, so present. The victim didn't appear to have a walkie-talkie with him at the time of his death. Huh, but I talked to the captain on his walkie-talkie before I started cleaning. Huh. But there's no walkie-talkie shown in these crime scene photos. I don't understand it. The captain always kept his walkie-talkie with him. Maybe the culprit took it away. Hmm, maybe. But what would be the point of that? I'd better organize the data I have on the victim in the court record. Shipley's autopsy report added... Ah, Shipley's autopsy and photo have been... Wow. Shipley's autopsy report and photo of the body has been consolidated. The captain always kept that walkie-talkie by his side. It was the walkie-talkie Azura used right up till her death. But in the middle of the show, the orca brought Azura up to the surface with her mouth. She left tooth marks on Azura's walkie-talkie. 
The captain said he always kept that walkie-talkie with him so he'd never forget. Oh, it's the sword! So the walkie-talkie was really important to the victim. But now the captain is dead too. I'm the only one left who can protect Orla from the ship's doctor. Protect Orla from the ship's doctor? I wonder what Sasha means. Yeah, why would we want to protect her from the doctor? What do you mean by protect Orla from the ship's doctor? You know, Herman Crab. Ever since the accident a year ago, he's been completely different. When Azora died, he said he was going to euthanize the Olga. Orla, before that, he used to say that euthanizing animals was a despicable act. Euthanize the Orca Orla? That's horrible. They all thought that Azura's death was the Olga's fault. Nobody believed in her but me. The ship's doctor always keeps poison to euthanize the Orca with on hand. But if Orla had been pronounced guilty in yesterday's trial, he would have used it. He was going to put her down right away. That ship's doctor was close with both the captain and Azura, you know. I think he hates Ola. Wow. I guess we'd better look into Dr. Crab a little more. I think Dr. Crab used to be the boyfriend of Azura. I think that's what? why he had his big change of heart. He, you think... he didn't believe in euthanizing animals before, but then after her death, he completely changed. Wow. Also, she even says, I don't know who her boyfriend was. Yeah, it could have been the veterinarian doctor. Could have been the vet, yep. Hmm, boss, let's go see Dr. Crab, all right? I was just thinking the same thing. We have a lot of questions. Either the boyfriend is Rhymes or the boyfriend is Dr. Crab. Yeah, I think so, too. Wow, this is getting really interesting. So she knew the former trainer and everyone knew the former trainer. And somebody was dating the former trainer, but we don't even know who it was. It could have been the fish guy or it could have been the doctor. But the fish guy said he was new. The rapper guy said he was new. So it probably wasn't him since he hasn't been there that long. Mm -hmm. But the veterinarian has been there for a long time. Yep. July 21st, Ship Shape Aquarium, Pub O Danger. Oh, hey, Pearls. And Rifle, what are you guys doing here? Rifle came in here, so I followed her, Mr. Nick. Oh, that's right. We were supposed to deliver Rifle to him. I completely forgot. Oh, Rifle! <coughs> what are you doing? Stop that! Oh. Uh, silly mother. He was... <laughs> He was, uh, what was he again? He was kind of... Oh, oh. Silly mother penguin, if you've injured my spectacular genius brain. Uh, Dr. Crab, are you all right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it is your people. I see you brought Rifle for me. No, yeah, Rifle was really laying into you. Well, she hates me because she thinks I took her baby from her. Gee, Rifle looks so happy. Is she actually playing with Sniper? Creep, creep, creep. Ah, stop all this... Ah. Beep. The biological parent and the caregiver parent locked in a struggle over the child. Ugh. Yeah. Do you think you could hold this silly little mother penguin down for me? All right. I will try, Mr. Nick. Uh, what are you doing? I think Rifle just threw something up. Oh, I'm getting food for Sniper out of Rifle. Mother penguins stock up food with their babies in their stomachs. They break it down in there so it is easier for the baby to eat. Wow, you sure know a lot about animals. You're trying to pick a fight with me again, aren't you, young lady? Yes, I know a lot about animals. I am a licensed veterinarian. Mm, Rifle certainly is in a bad mood, even for her. Hmm. Is Rifle okay? Hold on, I'm checking her now. Girl on the strange outfit, could you turn Rifle over on her back, please? Um, oh, alright, Rifle. I'm just gonna turn you over, okay? Hmm, <gasps> what is this? The bottom of her feet are pink. Mm. 
Oh no! Well, what kind of sickness is that? We have to get her to a doctor! Athena, get a hold of yourself. Dr. Crab is a veterinarian, remember? Alright! It's just something she stepped in by the looks of it. It's your stomach that's the problem. There's still something in there. Here you go. Hurry! 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 <gasps> Looks like she swallowed something odd. I know this penguin will eat anything, but where did she pick up something like this? Son of a gun, I'll have to talk to Marlin about her care. Dr. Crab, may we see what was in Rightful Stomach? Hmm? Uh, please be quiet. I'm busy right now. Busy, but you're just staring at that weird machine. I'm checking to see when Rifle ingested the foreign object. He just keeps looking at that machine. He won't even glance our way. Yeah, I'm really curious to know more about this monitor system. Could you tell us about the monitoring system you have here? It is a collection of electronic medical records for all the creatures here. With this system and the camera footage, I can monitor the creatures 24-7. I won't tell you any more than that. It's a private company business. The medical records are usually just a history of past medical exams and data. I've never heard of uh, any that could actually monitor 24-7. Hmm. Good point. Mr. Lawyer, I can see you. There's no fooling you. But why would you want to fool me? <gasps> what? And why does he have a penguin, like, helmet thing? Mm, this guy is really going to be tough nut to crack. Mm. I have my reasons. Okay. Interesting. I think we're going to wait until next time. We have to get the next stream started ASAP. Um, so anyway, guys, unfortunately, we have to end the stream. Uh, we're nowhere close to 600 views, so you guys have to get 500 views by tomorrow in order for another Ace Attorney. Um, it can't really be helped. The newsletter went out late. Uh, the previous stream went late. Uh, this stream suffered tremendously because of it. In fact, uh, YouTube punished us for only having, like, 40 people the first, like, hour or so. Uh, the views are very, very bad. Um... So the investigation hopefully will continue tomorrow, but 500 views is required uh, in addition to what we did on the stream in order to get another episode. That's probably the hardest one that you guys have had to do. Usually we get it around 600, 700, but it's not a possibility today. It's just not working, um, which is a shame, but there's nothing we can do. So um, the Dragon Ball Z stream will be starting up in 10 minutes as quickly as possible to try to balance out uh, the sinking views. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Justo, for the super chat. That really helped us because no revenue would have happened for this stream. And uh, we have to make some type of revenue every day. So, all right, guys. Um, see you on the next stream starting up in about five, six minutes for Dragon Ball Z. See you guys on the next stream. Thanks for watching. Yep. So, again, guys, 500 views is required to equal 1,000 for uh, the next stream.